Chelsea from Virginia High. Today is Thursday the 19th, and welcome to this episode of our Daily Video Announcements. I'm Ava. And hello, I'm Gabby. We're so excited to be here with you all on the Daily Video Announcements. I was please stand, place a hand over your heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Next up, National Day! Do you know that yesterday was National Hair Day? National Hair Day. I sure yeah. do love my hair. Okay. Zori, what do you do with your hair? I brush it. Thank you. I'm here with Zori. Oh, what do you do with your hair? Um, so I wash it, I condition it, I blow dry it, and I put it in a bun. Thank you. I'm here with Jeremy. What do you do with your hair? Um, I just wash it twice a day. Thank you. I'm here with Griffin. What do you do with your hair? I wet it and I comb it. Thank you. I'm here with I'm Sophie. Oh, what do you do with your hair? I actually I shampoo and conditioner when I get out of the shower. I use shea moisture because I have wavy hair. Thank you. I'm here with David. Gray. Um, what do you do with your hair? I spot every like two days I sponge it and spray some stuff in it that like makes it like fresh so i'm here with i can ash what do you do with your hair i put gel on it and i put powder in it and that's it okay thank you i'm here with elizabeth sandwich uh what do you do with your hair um i wash it three times a week and i do shampoo first then conditioner Today is National Food Day. Wow, I love food. Yum, yum, yum. My favorite food is quesadillas, but what does the rest of the school like? I'm here with Chris. Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is, my, is a pasta that my mom makes. We call it strong pasta. Thank you. I'm here with... Katie from the Clark Brown Jr. <laughs> what's your favorite food? Um, probably fried chicken and mac and cheese. Thank you. I'm here with... Julian. What's your favorite food? It has to be fried chicken and water. Thank you. I'm here with Abby. Uh, what's your favorite food? Pizza. Thank you. I'm here with Nicholas. What's your favorite food? Probably like uh, frosted flakes. Thank you. I'm here with Emma. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Thank you. I'm here with Caroline. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Thank you. I'm here with Allie. What's your favorite food? Mac and cheese. Thank you. I'm here with and your favorite food? I'm here with and what's your favorite food? I'm here with Popo. Okay. What's your favorite food? Um, tacos. Thank you. I'm here with so What's your favorite foods? Steak. Pizza. Thank you. What's your name? Maggie. What's your favorite food? Sushi. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Delilah and Sienna. What's your favorite foods? Italian. Too many to choose. Okay, I'm here with Z. Provolxion. What's your favorite foods? Uh, seafood. Taco Bell. Thank you. I'm here with Kalu. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Okay, thank you. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Alan R. and Audrey D. Enjoy your special day. Now over to our clubs and activities announcements. Hello, Sigmore. It's an optimistic Thursday. Adrian here. And Jack. Here with our club and activities announcements. Treats for troops. Type your name on the promise to bring your Halloween candy to school on November 1st. Form that Principal Shunk email to all those students and send it to as many people as you want. Attention all students interested in joining the HJH Ski and Snowboard Club. Plan on attending an informational meeting this Friday, October 20th, during Flex Belt in the gym, not the cafeteria. Be sure to tell your Flex Belt teacher today where you will be. Power of the pen! Participating in Power of the Pen allows students to express themselves creatively through the power of writing. Being on a team of people you share a passion for writing for is so much fun. I loved being on a team of people who shared my passion of writing just because it made writing in a whole so much better. I absolutely loved Power the Pen because all the writing prompts were really fun and creative. 
Part of the pen has helped broaden my creativity in so many different ways. Part of the pen helps me get outside my creative comfort zone and write about things I'm not really used to writing. I made so many new friends, had so many great experiences, and learned so many new things along the way. I understand a lot more about stories, their structures, and the characters from the help and guidance that coaches and judges have given me throughout the year. Another great thing about Power of the Pen is that you can get some really awesome feedback on your writing from a different point of view. With guidance from my Power of the Pen coach, I not only improved my writing skills, but I became able to write engaging, genuine stories. I hope other young writers, such as myself, will continue to improve their writing and make many new friends in Power of the Pen. One thing is for certain, Power of the Pen has been a wonderful experience that I will never forget, and I look forward to sharing my stories with the world. I love this organization and everything they did for me, and I know you will too. Hi everybody, my name is Sage. I was in Power of the Pen back in 2004 or 2005. Um, and the reason Power of the Pen means so much to me is because it forced me to start writing. And to this day, I think the hardest thing about writing is just getting started. And not only does Power of the Pen force you to start writing, it forces you to trust yourself. You just have to go, go, go and create. Um, and I think that's a great habit to get into. Keep writing, keep trusting yourself, and you'll, you'll just keep getting better. Because the only way to get better at writing is to write. If you don't want to compete, you can be a member of the non-competition team. Meetings are after school on Mondays from 3.20 to 4.20 in, the, uh, in room 2212. Our first practice will be on Monday, October 23 after school in room 2212. There will be a Power of the Pen info session this Friday, October 20th during Flexbell in ELA. Common for those that are interested, you can still be a part of Power of the Pen even if you don't want to compete. Email Ms. Huff, H U F F R, at sycamoreschools.org if you are interested. Einstein Brains by Philip Dwokins. Now, now over to our Einstein, Einstein Brains Cruise for a special. Hey, Sycamore! I'm Andrew and I play Otto in Einstein's Brain. Hi, I'm Rena and I play Samantha. Hello, I'm Aiden, and I play Dr. Harvey. Hey, I'm Henry, and I play Einstein's Brain. Our show opens this Thursday. It will take place October 19th through 21st at the high school. The show will begin at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there! <laughs> Thanks, crew. Buy your tickets now to see the show. Mark your calendars! We the people will meet this Tuesday, October 24th. That's October 24th at 7 a.m. in the Junior High Broadcast Studio, room 2151. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Gutemurth or Mr. Brenner. Brenner, and sorry for the confusion. Lost and found. It's all gone next Wednesday, October 25th. Get your stuff. All unclaimed items will be donated to a local charity. Cheerleading trials are approaching. The clinic is next Wednesday, October 25th from 3.30 to 5.30 in the Sycamore Junior High Main Gym. Tryouts are October 26th at 3.30 p.m. in the same location. October 26th is the end of first quarter. Study, learn, and keep your grades up. October 27th is no school for students. It's a personal learning day for students and, and record day for teachers. Also, happening on Halloween Day is our last chance to order our junior high yearbooks at a discounted price. The 2024 Sycamore Junior Highs is on sale now for 32 a copy. Really? I'm going to get my own. Really? Yeah. Hopefully. The price will be increased to 35 on November, October 31, 2023. November 1st, the community open house from 6 to 8 p.m. November 3rd is our report cards will be posted. November 10th, we have no school again for family conferences. Yes, another four-day week. I'm going to yes. sleep in. I am 
probably gonna not w- wake up. Not wake up. Yeah. Did you know that our school offers wrestling? League? Yes. They say anybody can join, and there are no cuts. <coughs> you wrestle people on your own size, and you don't need to have any prior experience going in. It starts November thirteenth. If you are interested in wrestling, sign up on Final Forms or ask Coach Foley on how to get started. I'm joining wrestling. That's all we have for clubs and activities today. Have a good day, Sycamore. Go Aves! Now over to Character Awards. Now over to Character Awards. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. Rodriguez here to do this week's Character Awards. Just kind of remind you that uh, each week we select two flex bells to go into, and uh, we have put together a character program that we like to uh, take you through. And at the end, we give students the opportunity to anonymously uh, nominate people that they feel exhibit some character. And so today, uh, the selection that I have is Ben Brilovich, and actually there are two uh, nominations for Ben Brilovich. And it says, Ben is so funny and always makes sure to cheer people up. Ben is always so positive and is kind. Now, that, that's not the longest write-up, I'm sure you are aware, but there are so many small uh, pieces to that write-up. Um, being kind, being positive, uh, making people feel good about themselves, adding humor to situations. So even though that was rather short, um, it actually had a lot into it. And the second one reads, uh, Ben uh, Brilovich, because he is funny and nice. So um, something so simple, it cost no money at all. And that is just being kind to people, which uh, we definitely saw that Ben is doing with uh, a couple of students, which, yes. uh, which is great. Yeah, great. Hi, Mr. Rodriguez here. I had the privilege of visiting uh, Mrs. Hurley's Flex Bell, and uh, someone there nominated uh, Adam, Adam Rubenstein. Adam, I'm going to read this for you. Adam is always super nice to me and always pays for me if we go out. If a, if a mistake is made, he always apologizes. He always makes me smile, too. He also did a small little fundraiser by selling cookies and donated the money to charity and cancer research. Even though it wasn't a lot, it shows just how nice he is. So Adam, thank you for doing that for cancer research. Uh, this week, I have the privilege of visiting Mrs. George. And I will be in Mrs. Gates. And uh, Adam, if you ever want to donate cookies to us, uh, we would certainly appreciate it. Hey, we, uh, what, do they, what do they get? We forgot to tell them what they got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so we visited each of these students in their flex bell uh, on Tuesday of this week, um, and we presented them with a uh, free large two-topping pizza from Papa John. So hopefully they can share that with either their family or their friends. So, uh, hey, we go to classrooms on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Thanks, crew. Next up, the joke of the day. Did you hear about the new Mexican restaurant? No. It's the talk of the town. <laughs> yeah, kitty, uh-huh. talk, talk. Uh-huh. Okay. Be the most extraordinary you that you can be, Sycamore. Follow BBIS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go away!